Hello, and welcome to this presentation on Aquadata Studio Oracle Edition, where we will be covering how to work with Aquadata Studio and connecting it to an Oracle database. Aquadata Studio is a universal database IDE and visual analytics productivity tool used by IT professionals working with data and databases. It allows you to develop and manage your databases by accessing, importing, exporting, and visually analyzing the data. Aquadata Studio supports over 30 plus database platforms and also works on a majority of operating systems such as Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Aquadata Studio also happens to support not only relational databases, but also NoSQL and cloud-based data platforms, thereby making it easier for you to access your data. Our agenda for this presentation will be on how to register a server, how to query the database, export the query result sets to an Excel spreadsheet. Then we will go on to the visual analytics side by creating a visual analytics uh, chart. And finally, we will reverse engineer that database into a data model. So let's get started. Here I have Aquadata Studio open, and let's go ahead and register an Oracle data source. So here I already have an Oracle data source being set up as a server, but let's right click on it and choose the server properties. Here you will see that under the name section, you can give it a friendly name to remember. You can choose the type depending upon your Oracle edition, whether it's production, development, or test. I've gone ahead and chosen production. You can also go ahead and choose a tab color in order to identify which instance you're in. Next, we can choose how you would like to authenticate. So here I've chosen either as a normal user, a sys operator, or sys ASM, or sys DBA. So I've chosen sys DBA in my uh, selection. Next, you can enter the login name. Here I'm using a container-based a database, so that's why it's using the C sharp sharp anneal option. Next, what we can do is we can choose one of ways of connecting to the database. The most popular one is the TNS uh, Connect descriptor, where I've gone ahead and and chosen that. Once I'm satisfied with the results, I can go ahead and choose Test Connection, and it gives you a successfully connected message. I'll go ahead and click Save. I'm gonna now just go ahead and right click and choose Connect. And if I were to expand my uh, schema, and here you can see the various uh, database object types that we support. I'm gonna go ahead and expand my tables section, and here I have a set of default tables visible to me. So now here in the navigation tree, you can also go ahead and see I have a bunch of other data sources here. And we can even save them as groups that can be categorized in the same fashion. Now what I'll do is let's go ahead and learn how we can go ahead and query this particular sets of tables. So you can do it in one of two ways. The first method is to go to the query window, uh, the query menu, excuse me. And then you, here you can see all the list of options that are available that you can enable. The second option is to actually go ahead and go to File, New, go to the Query Analyzer. And this brings about a new Query Analyzer window where you should be able to go ahead and start typing your SQL. And it'll give you a pop-up from based on the uh, schema name that you have. So here you can choose based on the schema name and then it pops in the particular result set. So here, if I just type in countries, it goes ahead and gives me the result set here. And once that is done, I can choose a variety of options that I can view the result sets in. And I can also get an execution plan and client level statistics. 
In another uh, query analyzer window, like uh, I can show you that I have a similar query where it's only going to offset, let's say, maybe the only the first hundred rows. So it brings me only the result set of that as well. Uh, the other way of of querying uh, multiple result sets is by the usage of the query builder. So what you can do is you can right click on a particular database object here and you can go and launch the query builder. Now what we can do is here we can actually go ahead and, and do uh, one of two things. One is either directly just uh, drag and dropping uh, the countries and then with the locations here and once that is done, you can actually go ahead and 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 do a mapping a join by drag and dropping the country ID to this. And there you can go ahead and have the query results set being displayed here. You also have the ability to do individual queries by expanding one of the tables here. And you can drag and drop those individual columns here as well. And run the query here. So you have a bunch of options to do that. And of course, once you're satisfied with the query, you can go to the SQL tab, do a control A, come back to your query analyzer, and execute it in this fashion as well. Now that we've gone ahead and taken a look at this, let's go ahead and see how we can go ahead and export this metadata to an Excel spreadsheet. In the in the grid result set here you can actually go ahead and choose from the Excel icon and say view as Excel spreadsheet and this will instantiate an Excel spreadsheet for you and real quickly it'll go ahead and display the results here. Next what we'll do is we'll take a look at the visual analytics uh, section of this. So what I would like to do is right here from the same uh, result set I will go ahead and, and click on New Analytics Workbook. And here I have my dimensions and here I have my measures. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put my dimensions as my uh, uh, columns and my measures as one of the rows here. So here you can see I have all of these in this, in this uh, bar chart. I can also go ahead and, and choose whether I want in a table format bar chart format, area, or even a pie based chart. Now what I can also do is add this into a color and based on the number of records, I can add this here as well. So it's really, really customizable according to your needs. And what's really cool about the visual analytics piece is that you can actually hover over the individual data set and click on view data and it lists that here as well. And you can again go ahead and preview this in an Excel spreadsheet, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> now that we've covered uh, these aspects, let's take a look at how we can reverse engineer this schema into a data model. So in order to do that, we can right click uh, on, on the tables, then go to tools and choose ER diagram generator. And here we can go to choosing the tables that we have as part of the schema. And we can choose the views as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose next. It's actually performing a, a reverse engineering here at this time. And once that is done, you can see a data model coming up shortly. Aqua Data Studio also really shines from uh, building a data model from scratch. So that also is possible. So you can actually forward engineer as well to a relational database. So here you go. It's, uh, it's getting almost done here. And there you go. So this is how easy it is to show that we have a data model being populated. You also can see that it, it did bring back even the comments. So that is also awesome. And you can also go ahead and see 
different options, whether you want to specify nulls, not nulls, with all that data types and the comments here. And in order to generate a script, you can also go ahead and generate a script for this, as well as generate a HTML report. And finally, save this as an image. You also can go ahead and compare this with the different model file, compare this with the target database. You can also go ahead and con convert this model as well uh, to a different platform. So in summary, Aqua Data Studio provides extensive capabilities to improve productivity for developers, analysts, and DBAs, helps you to connect to 30 plus databases, perform SQL query development, data visualization, database administration, and much more. To learn more and download your free trial, please visit us at aquafold.com. And if you have any questions, please email us at sales at .com. Thank you very much. Have a good one.